and the church for making this trip possible and all the support that we've all put into it and everything. Gamma Island was a really fun experience. The people were just really, really nice. Like when we went there the first Sunday for church, we weren't at the camp yet, but we went there for church this Sunday. Like we walked in, there was people walking up to us, shaking our hand and saying who they were, and they were just very warming people and very nice and just very felt like we were at home there. And it was hard to leave them because they were so welcoming and friendly and stuff. The activities we did was pretty fun too. They had like a three on three basketball tournament and um, they had three on three soccer, which I did, but we lost. <laughs> um, they had like the water slide and the zip line and stuff. I don't have the zip line. And we threw those, they had little balls that you're supposed to throw in the trash can. And I went to throw it in the trash can, and there was like people throwing, the boys were doing their three on three soccer tournament and hit one of them in the head. Uh-huh. And it was like a water ball, like water thing. They were like, whoops. <laughs> Um, all of us, there was, um, there was the park ball up there, there was the, there was the game room, and, um, the ping pong table, but, um, yeah. And then the preaching, the preaching was really, really good. Jody Jenkins pretty much hit everything on the dot, like, to down to the purity, down to the team leader, 10 out, pretty much everything. And pretty much the sermon that pretty much hit the hardest was cleaning your channel, out, seeing if you're doing everything for the Lord that you need to be doing. Like, I I know I wasn't reading my Bible and praying like I should have been. And he really spoke to me like that, and that I should be doing that. And the Lord really spoke in my heart about that, that reading your Bible and praying is important. It brings you closer to the Lord. And I made a commitment that week that every day I'm going to read my Bible and I'm going to pray. And... Ali started a thing with me and Abby and Elma that um, we're gonna when we read our Bible every morning or night, whatever we do, um, we send her a verse and a prayer request, and she does the same thing back to us. So we're accountable, and that helps a lot better. Kara was a little reluctant to tell you why she liked the um, carpet ball games because that's where. The boys were always at the carpet uh, uh, we'd, we'd find Alma and Abby, and we'd be like, well, where's Kara? Oh, she found a girlfriend, and they were always off somewhere else on the campgrounds. But anyway, we went out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but hey, camp is a good place to meet Christian young people. It is, and um, it's a lot better than this public school or you know other places. But so there's nothing wrong with meeting the opposite sex and um, talking to them. So, all right, do you want to say anything? Uh, not a whole lot. I just wanted to say, I mean, I went down for the kids and to help Lisa drive and to just kind of help. And um, we went to the services every night. I expected you know to hear and be there to help with the kids. And every service had something, not only for the kids, but there was always something for us. Every service, there was always something that I got out of it, even though it was directed towards the kids. There was always something that we could get out of it for us. Um, I think he spoke to us in every service. I don't think there was one that we didn't go in. But I said probably the most moving thing that Lisa and I talked about and, and we got out of it was just how the Lord worked in our kids. I mean, if you could see the one picture Lisa had said, I'm sorry. Um, we didn't get on the screen, but there all of the kids going forward and making decisions and being on their knees was just the Lord working. And our kids in the van singing church songs and loving the Lord. And, and we didn't ask them to. You know, they weren't on their iPods. They weren't you know, we didn't take those things. We didn't, you know, I mean, yes, Lisa had said she didn't want them to have those kind of things, but they handed that stuff over willingly. I mean, every night, you know, Jason, his counselor at, at um, camp said he could have his phone. He came to us and he said, my counselor said, I can have my phone. He said, can I have my phone? I said, you have to talk to Ms. Fixer about that. That was a rule we had made. 
And you know, he didn't even go over to Lisa. He said, ah, it's not worth it. He just kept, he, you know, he ran his phone back. And it was not even a, it wasn't even a struggle. I mean, the Lord did it. And the Lord worked with them. It wasn't even an issue. They were, the Lord was working with all of those things with them. And we didn't have to do it. And it was so nice and uplifting to think on the way home, him and um, Jason and Jackson were singing. You know, I mean, they were singing, he is able. And we were off key, <laughs> as loud as they could. I mean, it wasn't the greatest, but it was awesome just to hear them as loud as they could singing the whole way home. And I thought, you know what? This is what it should be. I mean, I remember when I was in camp and we were heading to the Bill Rice Ranch and doing those things. And I thought, our teens need this. this our teens need to be together and they need to be encouraged and they need to be, you know, doing these kind of things. And I, so to me, that, you know, two of them are mine, two of them are my nieces and nephews. And, it was just very uplifting to me. I love hearing it. I love seeing them together and, and doing the right things and doing things for the Lord. It was Amen. Just, uh,